Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the discovery, Hojo's Exams. Try the series of practical exams added to the Mako Research Facility Combat Simulator. Okay, so we have to head back down this absurdly long hallway again to get back to the combat simulator. And I would hate to work here. Gotta go to the next room over, half a mile away. I mean, who knows, maybe they have like, little vehicles that drive them around, but I doubt it, it's Shinra. They don't care about their employees. But they would be in amazing shape. All right, here we are. Evaluation Fusion Analysis. A three-person combat evaluation in which subjects may select their own team. Subjects will engage in virtual combat to assess potential biocompatibility of specimens fused with other organisms. The reward for this one is Astral Remnant, which we needed for the item transmuter. I can't remember exactly what. And conditions, defeat all enemies within the time limit. We're gonna bring Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith. Alright, so let's start with a Firebolt Blade to the Amalgam. You're dead. We don't want him reviving. So that will prevent it. Alright, next firebolt blade for this amount of here. Now one thing I did so want to show, because I haven't done it yet, is Tifa's new um, Trinity Strike ability that we picked up. It's really good, but the timing makes it extremely hard to pull off. So let's see if I can actually do it here. I usually get the first two strikes, but the third one's a little tricky. So let's see. There. And got it. Oh, but it missed. Well, I want to show it actually landing. I'm coming. That'll do. Let's just get rid of this one, Soul Drain. Hang back. Alright, Tifa. Try it again. This time, hopefully, it lands. Come on. And boom! <laughs> I'm actually surprised they did it two times in a row. Normally not that good at it. That wasn't so bad. Maybe I'm getting better though. Alright, that took 57 seconds. We got our Astral Remnant. Next up, we have Evaluation Dominant Traits. A three-person combat evaluation in which subjects may select their own team. Subjects will engage in virtual combat to assess the dominant traits of specimens created from two diametrically opposed life forms. This will give a turbo, ether, and it also has a time limit. Same team. Alright, so let's start with Aerith, because I want her to smack that Adjudicator with a Thunder. And who knows, maybe the thing's near it too. Right, there we go, that pressured it, which will make it go immune to magic. Which means we can just smack it with magic. Gang Awakens. He's pressured and very angry. Let's do a focus thrust on him. Going in. He's 
Let's try Trinity Strike. So much damage, although it's reduced a lot. See you around. All right, that took forty four seconds. We got Turbo Ether. Next up, we have Evaluation Antinomic Traits, a three-person combat evaluation in which subjects may select their own team. Subjects will engage in virtual combat against specimens with opposing traits to assess the ways in which these attributes impact their host. This will give an elixir and conditions defeat all enemies within the time limit. We'll just keep taking the same team. Same strategy. We want Aerith on that lightning ASAP. Thundara on A. Taking over. Alright, so that other one went um, immune to physical. Which means Aerith's gonna have to take care of it. At least, oh, I thought it did. Never mind. I don't know why I thought it did. Never mind. Let's shift pressure it. Oh, actually, it was pressure. Never mind. I think I saw it right. Yang awakened. Well, it's been working. Let's do a Trinity Strike. Ah, oh, I missed it. <laughs> Nothing to it. That was 43 seconds, we got Elixir. Next up, we have Evaluation Forsaken Specimens, a three-person combat evaluation in which subjects may select their own team. Subjects will engage in virtual combat to assess the capabilities of specimens who have produced anomalous results in the experimental phase. And the reward is Subversion Materia Earrings. We have two conditions, we have a time limit, and we need to stagger an enemy. Same team. Okay, so to pressure this, we'll need to attack its arm, its right arm. So braver on that right arm. Take the lead. Watch yourself. Here goes. Here, let's work on it. And it is weak to ice. Oh, that's definitely gonna be gone. I got it. Goodbye, arm. Wait, did we not get the arm? Oh, wow. Alright. Braver on the arm, I guess, the Aerith missed. Crippled now. ATB boost. Focus thrust. Tifa, let's have you do your unfettered fury. And just regular melee attacks should take it the rest of the way. Almost got it. Snagger, we got it.
No surprises there. You completed all evaluations in the simulator. We got our subversion materia earrings that took 49 seconds. The door to Hojo's secret laboratory opened. And our discovery is complete. Hojo's exams. All right, so a bunch of boxes in here. Let's break them. We got a high potion and antidote. Phoenix down. An orb of gravity and mega potion. Grenade and Moogle metal. And another Moogle metal and high potion. Then we got these chests. This one has a bottle of turbo ether. This one's a weapon chest. What do we got? A plumos rod. New weapon for Aerith. So it's six materia slots, three weapon skills, 49 physical attack, 143 magic attack, which competes with the 147 on the ceremonial staff. Uh, ability is Ray of Judgment, a bewitching staff decorated with the feathers of a bird known for its beautiful song. And Ray of Judgment, fire and energy burst that hits multiple times, increased staggered damage bonus. Proficiency bonus for striking a staggered enemy. All right, definitely gonna use this. Which means we have three new materia slots. One thing I've definitely wanted on Aerith forever is the magic attack up. Or just magic up, I guess. Um, taking that from Yuffie. Another thing I'm gonna take from Yuffie, she has that Comet spell. I think that's best on Aerith. So we'll take Comet from Yuffie. And I don't know, maybe a cleansing? That should work. All right, then weapon skills, not the best on this staff. We'll do max HP plus 200, enduring ward, and not so fleeting familiar. That should work. Then we gotta give Yuffie some new materia, so. Uh, we don't have the best choices, to be honest. Uh, let's see, does she have a luck up? She doesn't. Let's give her a luck up, because I think I've got a spare. And does she have an MP up? She does not have an MP up. Let's give her an MP up and a luck up, I guess. Um, we'll take Kate Sith's. I'll give him the lesser one. I want luck up, wherever the heck that's hiding. There it is. And then Kate Sith, you get the lesser MP up. All right, should be good. Got more chests. An enchanted ring, another accessory. I don't want item transmitter. Let's see what this enchanted ring does. Of a jeweled ring. No enchanted? Huh, did I miss it somehow? There's so many, it's easy to miss. I think I missed it. Where is it hiding? Enchanted ring, where are you? What in the heck? Where is it? Alright, maybe it is further down than I realized? Or I just keep missing it. There it is. Enchanted ring, a magic ring that ensnares the heart and mind of any who look upon it. Extends the duration of beneficial status effects applied by the wearer. So I don't know if that's really that great. Maybe in very specific circumstances, if you want a buffer. All right, then we got a chest with an X potion. All right, so with that done, let's head back up to the surface, we'll go back to Nibelheim, and uh, Chadley has a new combat challenge for us. So those creepy outfits, <laughs> all the patients. It would appear you have completed our survey of the Nebel region, Cloud. One could argue that this is where the Shinra Electric Power Company truly began. Consequently, 
It's no surprise that your investigations identified a multitude of concerns. Let's hope our partnership leads to lasting solutions. Okay, so we have Nebel Region Intel Level 2. A series of three-person battles in which you pick your team, engage in simulated combat against the Mako mutated creatures to better understand the ways in which this new energy source affects the natural world. And this is going to give us Revival Materia Rank 2, which is pretty awesome. We only had one Revival Materia, and I don't even think it's Rank 2 or even close. It takes a lot to level up. So, this one just comes already leveled. We'll do the same team. Cloud, Tifa, Aerith. Starting this out against some red spinner Chimera. Almost got rid of one already. And it's gone. Tifa, you're up. Claws level 48. Alright, next we're up against some D. Let's get that archer right away. They're dangerous. Oh! Try to pet you find me! I don't even know where he went. I'll just jump away. To him, there he is. And boom! He's gone. Now the sorcerer is going to try to get him back up. Just have Tifa stop him, hopefully. Now we got a group of, uh, what are they called, Balrons again? Yeah, Balrons. Ooh, we got a nice counter there. Man, that one's good. Oh, that one's got charge complete. As it will be trying to do its gravity attack soon. We're gonna stop him. He's doing great Graviga, but we stopped it, I think. Oh, he's trying again. I think he's getting this one off. Yeah, he got it off. Because we're all done. Let's go. These ones are so annoying. The Mastodons are here. Counter is your friend. The counter is doing work. The class taking a lot of damage. Let's have Harith. Harith heal. Or we could just do damage, but eh, we'll heal. We'll heal. God. Braver! Boom! He's done. He's about to go. He's done. Alright, we got 
got an annoying group here. A Levradon. And one of those gold ones. Remember what he's weak to. He's weak to us. you do a Zara at the Leopard Eye. He didn't like that. Right. Do an ATB boost. Focus thrust before it gets out of range. Focus thrust again. We got the stagger. He's done. He just doesn't know it yet. Tifa, do a dive kick on him. I'll do a Braver. And there we go. On to the goal. It was not pressure. Oh, wow. That's easy. He's almost staggered already. No grab for you. Alright, there it is. And overkill with the left. That took 3 minutes and 12 seconds. We got our rank 2 revival material. Alright, and there's only one combat challenge remaining that we have not unlocked. I gather from your expression that you're eager for more. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Now, who is going to take this revival material? Barrett's already got one, which I think is a good place for it to be. We want someone else who can gain ATB fairly quickly. Maybe Red? Red's pretty good at gaining ATB, I suppose. Barrett's clearly the best. I mean, Cloud's pretty good too, but... I don't know. Oh, actually, Yuffie's really good at gaining ATB. Maybe we give it to Yuffie. I'm thinking Yuffie. Let's see. What could we drop for her? Especially since she has ATB boost. Mm hmm. Maybe... She's got that crappy HP up. But she probably should have an HP up. Lock up can drop. She gets revival material. Okay. Alright, I feel like I'm forgetting something for some reason, but I don't think so. I believe that's... Everything. We did our combat challenge. We completed our discovery. Yep. That is everything. So we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.